Five tonight marks two years since the death of a local mother after a driver barreled into her going the wrong way on I-44. The driver accused Emily Hernandez also charged for unlawfully entering the U.S. Capitol one year before the crash. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Lauren Traeger tells us the family of that crash victim wants justice as Hernandez prepares to enter a plea next month. Very angry, very angry. It's my sister's been in the ground frozen for about two years and Emily's out walking free and able to do whatever she wants. Anger and tears as family of Vicki Wilson say January 5th is a very difficult day. There's there's just there's so much that that we all love about her and that we wanted her to be a part of and we can't. It was two years ago. Vicki and her husband Ryan were out to get dinner shortly after 7 p.m. on Highway 44 near St. Clair. The 911 call started pouring in. A truck driver captured a car flying down the interstate the wrong way. The collision killed Vicki almost instantly and seriously injured Ryan. My sister's life had to end because she made that choice and there's still no punishment. The driver going the wrong way was identified by police as Emily Hernandez. Almost exactly one year earlier, she'd been inside the Capitol on January 6th, 2021, infamously seen in video and images, holding up a broken sign from the speaker's office. She pleaded guilty and served 30 days in jail for those charges. But Vicki's family frustrated over her new case. I don't know what they had to investigate. I don't know why it's taken two years. If she had walked up and shot my sister, she would have been in jail. Why is there a difference? Now nervously awaiting a plea hearing set for February 20th. In my opinion, she took a life, she should get life. And hoping in the meantime that Vicki's life will leave a lasting message. If you're going to drink, don't drive. Just please don't drive. You may not get hurt, but somebody else will. Despite the family's hope that she received life in prison, Hernandez is charged with DUI resulting in death. That carries a sentence of up to only 15 years in prison, and it could be quite a bit less than that.